Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today, I believe, is Thursday, um, February the 5th of 2015. Um, if I sound a little sluggish, it's because I just woke up. But the reason I'm making a video before I took a shower or anything, don't worry, I'm wearing clothes, don't worry about that, <laughs> is because I received this package in the mail this morning. My good friend Declan, um, I mentioned this the other day, um, inside this box, this very large um, duck heavy duty box, is my third Packard Bell Platinum One. I seem to be um, getting a, a small little collection of these. Now, I um, the first Platinum One, as you know, I no longer own. I um, actually donated it to um, Lazy Game Reviews here on YouTube. If you haven't seen his videos, go check them out right now. I shouldn't be doing this with a, with a pair of scissors, but check out Lazy Game Reviews right now. He's pretty much the king, and I mean the king, of, of vintage um, computer game um, collecting on YouTube. And he's also from North Carolina like I am, so he was actually born in the same area as me, so... Yeah, if you like, um... People from North Carolina who collect old computer games, go check him out. <laughs> but I digress, uh... Let's go ahead and open this box here. The second Platinum one is the one you saw um, the other day out in my workshop. Which, as you know, I absolutely adore that machine. This particular one here, not sure what I'm going to do with it, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And there's also supposed to be a few little surprises in here. So, you know, I'm a sucker for surprises. Um, that's why at my birthday, um, I always prefer to be surprised than get a present that um, I was expecting, which... Actually, that's usually what happens. I usually do wind up getting something I, I know I'm getting. But I do love a good surprise. Uh, gotta hand it to Declan. He knows how to tape. Gotta hide all our addresses. Okay. Oh, there we go. Just label all. I definitely want to get his label off too. So no one will see it. Our addresses are none of your business. Okay, there we go. We should be safe now from... Oh, well, not safe from tape, though. Still got this a little bit here. Okay. We are in, and the first thing we got is... <laughs> A little piece of paper here. Sorry it took so long, but eh, I'm lazy, so what you gonna do? <laughs> I may have to post that up on my wall. <laughs> that, is, that is a work of art right there, Declan. Okay, again, I don't know what the what kind of um, shape and condition this, plat this particular Platinum one is. So I haven't even really seen it. Huh, we got a uh, Microsoft Windows 95 manual with the COA. Oh, I remember those. Where do you want to go today? Actually, I got to go to the doctor today to pick up some medicine. <laughs> and... <laughs> oh... <laughs> 
here's why I'm laughing here. I'll, I'll, I'll explain this in a second here. Declan didn't even know about this um, when he sent this, I bet. This is one of those uh, Jack's Pacific um, game console things that you plug into your TV that has a bunch of old arcade games built in. This is the particular Atari um, version. What I find hilarious about this is I used to have one of these, and when I sent LGR his Platinum one, I sent him the one I used to have. So now Declan just sent me a Packard Bell Platinum one with another handheld Atari game. I can't believe that. That is hilarious. <laughs> and... This. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Declan, you are awesome. I haven't owned one of these since the early 2000s, and I've been after one of these. A Sony PlayStation 1. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I don't know if he included the cables for it. I'll need the... Uh, I definitely have the plug for that, for the AC, but audio, video, um, I'm not sure if I have that, but um, I will get it eventually. Declan, thank you so much for this. You are awesome. <laughs> and what's this? Oh, there's the power cord for the uh, PlayStation. And a memory card. I remember these Mad Cat cards. Oh, yeah. Good times there. Good, good times. Something else. A couple of other things in here. We'll get we'll get to the Packard Bell eventually. Declan was just this awesome to send me all this cool stuff. Now, let's see what this is. Looks like another game console. And it's... The bottom half of a, uh, or the top half of a, uh, Toshiba Satellite Pro 420 CDT. I had a, four, a couple of 430 CDTs in the past, so and then this will be a good little restore project if I can find the parts for it. Thank you, Declan. Uh, and this, well, this is the other half of the... Oh, it's another Packard Bell Media Select. These are always cool to collect. I have um, the one from my old Platinum 2240. Um, I have it over on my shelf over there. So, thank you, Declan. It's always good to have a second. And boy, he, he really spoiled me today. <laughs> and what's this? Feels like a keyboard. Oh, awesome. Another Packard Bell keyboard. I've actually been needing one of these pretty badly. I've been running low on these, so Declan, thank you very much. I've really been needing another Packard Bell keyboard. And now, got some <laughs> even more stuff, my goodness. And here is PlayStation controller, another uh, Mad Cats one. Um, I like the look and feel of this. So thank you, Declan. Boy, I'm spoiled today. <laughs> and then here we have. It's like a mouse. PS2 variety. Well, these are always good to have as uh, as spares. A good old fashioned um, Dell mouse. It's like from the mid '90s. It's it was like a Logitech branded one, so thank you, Declan. These are always good to have to test stuff with and that kind of stuff. And I'm not sure what this is. It says Kingston. This might be the memory card thing you put in the in that Toshiba laptop. Okay. 
Must be the battery for said Toshiba laptop. Might even put, might even fit in my 2505 CDS. That'd be great if the if it still works. Battery that is, and wow, a really old, and I mean really, really, really old. Um, get it out. Packard Bell um, sound card. It has the old Packard Bell logo on here. You can't really see it, but um, man, this is archaic. <laughs> but oh, this is good to have in a collection if I ever get an older Packard Bell. And um, even has a hardware volume wheel. I've never owned a sound card like this before, but I have seen them. So that is really, really cool. And. Another Packard Bell sound card. The newer version of what we just saw. Um, this is actually the exact same kind of sound card that I have in my Legend 20 CD. So um, once I get my 20 CD fixed, if I need a spare, here I go. <laughs> Thank you, Declan. Okay, and what's this? Like one of them. Well, I can tell right now this is a Intel Pentium 2. Don't uh, know how to put this out here. Yeah, here we go. Intel Pentium 2, one of the the slot loading ones. So I don't have any use for it right now, but you never know in the future I might. So thank you so much, Declan. Okay. And I believe that's it. So uh, there's nothing left to do now except take a look at the Packard Bell Platinum One, my third one. And here we are. Wow, looks like it's in pretty good um, cosmetic condition here. I guess this is uh, the time I need to unmount from the tripod. Yeah, it's uh, missing the spec sticker, but that's okay. Got the original quad speed CD ROM in it. It's got a floppy disk in here. Platinum One boot diskette. Let's see what... I heard a weird noise. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on in the back. Okay, we got the original sound modem card in there. It's an older um, Platinum one. Um, the one I have out in the workshop was May 9th, 1996. This one is... Um, January 17th, 1996. So this is one of the first Platinum ones. It's got an Ethernet card. And unlike the one I already have, this one's a uh, uses a PB600 motherboard. Which um, is a very common motherboard on stuff like my uh, Legend 822 CDT there. So, yeah. I... I'm very, very impressed. Anything else in this box, by the way? Nope, I believe that's all. So, what all do we get today? Well, most notably, the Platinum One. A uh, Media Select. Packard Bell Keyboard. PlayStation One with accessories. Old Packard Bell Sound Cards. Part of a uh, Satellite Pro uh, 420 CDT. And I missed this here. That is the that is the audio video um, adapter for the PlayStation 1. So thank you very much, Declan. And by the way, I still have all my old PlayStation 1 games from the late 90s, early 2000s. So I'm good to go with that. With that. So I might have to do a video about the PlayStation 1 um, pretty soon. And... 
I send a, pl a platinum one to someone with a Atari um, game here, and I get an, and I get back another platinum one with the same Atari game. <laughs> so that is hilarious right there. Very kind gesture there, Declan, but also hilarious at the same time. So. Thank you so much, Declan. You are truly the definition of awesome. Again, not sure what I'll do with this Platinum one just yet, but we'll see what happens. So for now, this is Billy Core signing off.